my bhakti purna pranams to revered president maharaj ji to shrimad swami suhitanand ji maharaj and all my elders and my respectful namaskars to all those present here now i will read out the historical proceedings of the two general body meetings of the ramakrishna mission association held on 1st and 5th may 1897 preliminary meeting saturday 1st may 1897 in pursuance to a call from swami vivekananda a meeting of the grihastha disciples and followers of shri ramakrishna deva was held on the evening of the 1st may 1897 at the premises of late babu palram bose number 57 ram kanto bose street calcutta several sanyasins of the alam bazar mat favored the meeting with their presence in view of the increasing interest and expansion of the movement to diffuse paramahamsa deva's ideas teachings and principles it was thought desirable to form an organization to carry on the work methodically a local center in calcutta was thought to be essential where all could meet regularly to exchange their ideas to adopt means for diffusing the knowledge of those principles and teachings to the masses and to keep themselves in touch with the other sister bodies in different parts of india america and england by the interchange of views for the furtherance of the cause a general body of members was drawn up consisting of all who however differing each other in other respects have a common ground of unity in the love of paramahamsa deva and his teachings an executive committee has also been formed from amongst those present and a subscription list was opened for collecting a monthly sum for house rent and other necessary expenditure it was resolved to hold weekly meetings at the house of babu g c ghosh for the present The preliminary meeting of the association was fixed to take place on Wednesday evening next to consider fix upon rules of guidance and the principles objects of the association number of audience was about 40 second meeting of the association Wednesday 5th May 1897 under the presidency of Swami Vivekananda the name object method of the work of the association and the rules for its guidance were fixed upon these were the following name the ramakrishna mission object the object of this society is to propagate the principles propounded by shri ramakrishna and illustrated by his own life for the benefit of humanity and to help mankind in the practical application of those principles in their spiritual intellectual and physical needs the mission the mission of this society is to carry on the work inaugurated by shri ramakrishna of fraternizing the various creeds of the world knowing them to be only phases of one eternal universal religion method of work the method of work is by starting centers in different places to train spiritual and secular educators and by encouraging arts industries and by popularizing the study of vedanta and other systems of the spiritual thought as interpreted by the life of shri ramakrishna the work in india the work in india is by starting centers in the capitals of the empire to train sanyasins ascetics and grihasthas householders as educators of the people and to enable these teachers to reach the people by making them visit different parts of the country foreign work to send missionaries to various foreign countries to bring the centers already existing in countries outside of india in sympathy and cooperation with those existing in india and to start other centers the rules of the association the following rules were unanimously adopted for the guidance of the calcutta center of the mission one anyone who believes in the mission of shri ramakrishna who is ready to cooperate for the spread of that mission 
and who endeavors to lead a moral life would be eligible to the membership of the society, the other members not objecting. Two, the members should pay a subscription not less than eight annas per month unless anyone is specially incapable. Three, the president of every branch shall have the power of vetoing any proceedings of that branch. Fourth, the executive committee shall have the power of calling meetings through the secretaries and collecting funds through the treasurer. Five, a meeting should be held every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. at the premises of number 13, 13 Bospada Lane, Bagh Bazaar. Swami Vivekananda has been elected the general president of the Ramakrishna Mission. Swami Brahmananda has been elected the president of the Calcutta Center of the Mission. My respectful pranams and namaskars to all. Thank you.